Hi everybody, I'd like to do a Adobe XD tutorial with you today to uh, play a little bit uh, with uh, prototyping and some interactivity. I will give you the artwork of this uh, and uh, this is the two-part tutorial. So this is part one where we're only going to look at creating some interactivity for uh, our three onboarding screens that goes to home. Okay. Thank you, Freepik, for the lovely illustrations. It's not mine. Um, and then also there is going to be a re some really cool things that I'm going to add in here that I got from Dansky, which I'll also refer to in um, the video. Okay, I will give you, as I said, I will give you this um, mobile app master file um, so that you can download it and work with me. All right, first things first. We've got three onboarding. I'm not going to go too deep into onboarding now, but obviously if it's a new app, you've got to tell people what the app is actually all about. So from screen to screen, you're going to actually help them familiarize themselves with what the app is really about before you get to the home screen. So we've got some forward chevrons, backward chevrons, and then a get started button. We also have some skip buttons um, that people can actually click on if they don't want to be part of uh, this onboarding setup. And then obviously we've got the logo there at the top, which at the moment is not, not necessarily going to go anywhere. All right, so let's go into prototyping. So if you want to create uh, some interactivity on any object, you just select it and you will see a little blue arrow. The wonderful thing about Adobe XD is that when I start with my interaction and I fill in um, all the areas, it will remember it. So if, if you're happy with one, you can just do it once and it will remember it. So I'm going to click on my forward chevron and I'm going to drag it to onboarding two. I am going to use an interaction of tap. Uh, I am going to also use auto animate. It is the best, especially for what we want to do now. And the destination is yes, it is onboarding too. Uh, I am going to use an easing of ease in and out, which is always best. And then I am going to use a duration of 0 0.5 seconds, which can, you can play around with it. You can make it a little bit longer, uh, but for now I'm going to use it as 0 0.5. Okay, when we go to onboarding two, I am going to select my backward arrow or my back chevron and I'm going to put it back, drag it on to onboarding one. And then just double click or double check rather if your interaction is correct. So is it tap? Yes. Auto animate? Yes. Onboarding one? Yes, it goes back. It's ease in and out and indeed it's 0 0.5 seconds. The same with your forward chevron on onboarding two. I am selecting it and then I am dragging it to onboarding three. And again, double check if everything is correct. Fantastic. On onboarding three, I am going to select my back chevron again and drag it back to onboarding two. And again, double check, tap, auto animate, onboarding two is the destination. Correct, is in and out and 0 0.5 seconds. Fantastic. The get started is obviously the enter button, so I'm going to select that and then I'm also going to drag that towards home because yes, click that and you're going home uh, or into the first page actually or the first screen of this app. Tap is correct, yes it's auto animate, yes it goes to home, is in and out, they are all perfect. Okay, if we zoom slightly out, our skips are a little bit different because skip must go from onboarding one to home, correct. Just drag it, it'll snap to the um, home artboard, great. Double check if everything is fine, yes. Skip two on onboarding two, yes. Drag it to home, and then the last skip on onboarding three, drag it to home. So that is really cool, happy with that. We're gonna go back to design there at the top. And I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to create a little slider wheel that's going to slide also from screen to screen, which comes from Dansky. So that's why I am, um, I'm referring to him. I am going to hold on my shift and I'm just going to drag a circle. Uh, I think it's 275. So we're just going to double check. Um, 
Okay, 290 looks okay. 290 looks okay. All right, then I'm going to go into um, Illustrator. I've obviously done it, so I'm just going to redo it for you. Illustrator, make a new document. Uh, make uh, it 500 by 500 pixels. That's all you kind of need. You don't have don't have to have a big one. Create. And then uh, double-click your ellipse tool. Or select your ellipse tool. Click on the page, rather. And make it 290 by 290. And that is obviously in pixels. I'm just going to center this on my artboard and take off the fill. Okay, the next step is fairly complicated, but just uh, bear with me. You're going to draw a rectangle. It doesn't have to be uh, that big. We want to cross, so we're going to draw a rectangle kind of like this. I'm going to align them. All right, select the rectangle, double click the rotation tool and uh, punch in 90 or minus 90 and say copy. And then you have a cross. Great, we're gonna select all of that and we are going to just uh, align them as well. Now is you're going to select all of them again and you're going to go to your Pathfinder. Uh, I use it in properties, that's okay. It's the second option, it is uh, minus front. And that is what you'll get. So you get these four quarter circle uh, elements. Okay. Then select your direct selection tool and drag uh, through them all. All right, like so. And press delete. And what you will get is just the quarter outside uh, parts, and uh, which is what we want. Okay, I'm going to select that, uh, all four of them. I'm going to uh, just increase the stroke, also go through properties. I'm just going to increase it to 8p, 8px. And I am going to just change the um, caps to round. And then we're going to copy it. We're going to paste it. And just make sure, again, that it is nice and centered. This I'm going to call selector. I'm going to call selector. And then I am going to uh, rotate it. Hold on, shift. And basically what you want is you, you want, uh, want to kind of like be um, underneath the illustration, one to the top and then to the uh, left and right. Okay. All right. Now, yes, you should actually name these, but uh, I'm not really going to worry about naming them now, um, but you should actually double click inside and name them. I am going to, however, make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it uh, 12, I would say. Yes, nice and thick. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to double click on the one here at the bottom. Uh, the bottom path, path 207, terrible, but anyway. And then I'm going to click on my border color and I'm just going to make it the purple. All right, my uh, dark uh, mid-tone purple. And click on the other uh, three and take the border off. Like so. So you've got only one. I'm going to copy that, this uh, selector. And you're going to paste it on onboarding too. Now, the great thing about uh, Adobe XD is that it pastes in place automatically, which is fantastic. Hover over uh, top or left, hold on shift, and now I am going to turn this so that my uh, circle element is to the left. And click inside and of that path. And we're going to change that to yellow. All right, I'm going to copy that one. Onboarding three, paste it, hover over, hold on shift, it goes to the other side. And click. And this time I am going to make it the dark blue. And save. Right, now. Let's go and play. Isn't that just smooth?
Isn't that just so smooth? Tiny little thing, but it actually just brings a little bit of quirky animation to something that's fairly simple. Okay, next. Now we're going to do the text. It kind of looks silly if text just go and boom appear and boom disappear. So we are going to pseudo animate them in a way. So it looks a little bit smoother. Now, how do we do this? We have to make sure that our text are actually on all the artboards. So the text of onboarding two needs to be on onboarding one as well. Now, how do we do it? I'm going to copy the text of onboarding two. I'm going to paste it on onboarding one, but I actually need to move it. I need to move it in the direction that it's going to appear. And that's obviously I'm going to move it slightly to the right. So I'm going to hold on shift with my right arrow. One, two, three, four, five. And obviously I don't want it to appear. So I'm just actually going to take the opacity down. Save. Okay, the same with the text of onboarding one. I want it to also make, also appear on onboarding two as if it uh, fades out. So I'm going to copy that, paste it on onboarding two. This time it now has to go move slightly to the left. So hold on shift, left arrow, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and zero opacity. Save. The same with the text of two needs to go to onboarding three. Copy it, paste it on onboarding three, but it needs to move. So hold on shift, move it slightly to the left. Hold on shift, left arrow, one, two, three, four, five, zero opacity. Save. The same with the text of onboarding three. That actually needs to sit on onboarding two as well. So I'm going to copy that, go to onboarding two, paste it. Hold on shift, right arrow, one, two, three, four, five, zero opacity. Okay, let's play and let's see what we've actually done. Do you see that your type actually moves? Isn't that smooth? It's just so much better. So much better that it actually adds some real UX animation in there that is just superb. Superb. Love it. Okay. All right. That is it for uh, part one of Adobe XD interaction and a uh, little bit of animation. In part two, we will build... Uh, more pages and go to more extensive uh, interactivity. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you soon. Thank you. Bye.